because I know Wendy hasn't had this horse very long. She bought it from Heath and Rosie Ryan. Heath comp campaigned it. It was uh, down here with Jane Crantock in Victoria for quite some time. It's been a super horse. He's now 16 years old and he's Danish bred by Midwest Ibby Light. Wendy's from Heatherbrain and lives next door to Heath and Rosie. She's a great, fun person competitor and <coughs> says that living next door to Heath and Rosie is a bit like episodes of Faulty Tower sometimes. I think she had a bit of a disappointing ride just in into two. She was a little bit cross herself again, getting a bit uptight and worried about the competition and forgot to ride a little bit and uh, already today she looks like in a better way. A little bit more positive here in the half pass. The quarters could be a little bit more across. It was a little bit too much like, like Travier, but still it was in good rhythm. And the one to the left is a little better in positioning. Good flexion left, <coughs> but again, could have just a little bit more cadence and push. Now to the halt and the rain back. Two, three, four, five steps. Whoops, you're well done. Now the extended trot. A little modest and uh, maybe could be a little bit more uphill. Now the passage. Of course, you'll notice that none of the riders can carry a whip. So. Uh, Maybe a little bit deep in the frame and maybe a little bit forward for a really big mark in Grand Prix, but still good ideas and a nice transition out. <coughs> directly from oh directly from the passage to the extended walk and then something gave him a little bit of a worried moment. He had a few trot straps that won't help the extended walk mark at all. It's very, very easy to lose marks in a Grand Prix test, that's for sure, you know. It's all about being so disciplined at home and in your training that uh, it just all stays even more disciplined and in place in the test. For collector walk, it could be a little round, it's a little bit open, poles a little bit too open at the gullet. Clear transition to passage, but again, it just needs a little bit more air under it for a bigger mark. Quite nicely coming back into Piaf, but again, a little bit too travelling. <coughs> it should be on the spot. It's a little bit like a metre and a bit forward, so again, a big mark won't be so possible. Now the transition to Canter, really sweetly into Canter. Wendy's having a check in the window. Now straight into the twos. There's nine of them. Because he's a little bit onward bound, I think a little bit strong and pushing a little bit too forward in each change, he unfortunately missed one behind and jumped together, which was a shame. Extended canter. Again, a little modest. Maybe she thinks she can gain it in a nice clear transition and a really good change. Yeah. Now the zigzag. Three, six, and see how far of the centre line that looks better. Whoops, I, th I might be able to count, but I had a feeling that was a five. Two. That was a seven. <coughs> Should be cross herself for not counting because it was quite well positioned either side of the centre line. And the ones. Molly S says, absolutely not today, Wendy. I'm not having a bar of it.
Now the pirouette starts a bit big. <coughs> Good balance at the end, but uh, at a CDI, at an International Grand Prix, it's really difficult. The judges can see that she's not having the easiest of rides, and yeah, this is better. Much better, but still, you can see the hind legs are a little bit bigger, but it's a little bit more in the marks than the first one. But you've just got to be honest and mark what you see on the day, and sometimes it hurts you because you know that the horse is along the right way and just made one little mistake, but you've just got to be honest and say, well, unfortunately, I have to mark that down a bit. It was a little bit more forward and a little bit more expressive than the first Extended for sure. <coughs> Just the centre line passage, PR passage. Now, from the front, it's not so easy to see how on the spot it is. Yeah, I think the best passage was the end, so nice way to finish. <coughs> yeah, Wendy loves having the chance of competing at this level.